Hi everyone, um, welcome back. Um, I'm just um, we're going to quickly just go through this chapter here. I think it's going to be a quick video, really. Um, Magento theme structure. Um, if you were watching in the last video, you would um, probably kind of already know most of it, but there are a few things that we need to look at here. Um, so I'll just get on with this. Um, um, uh, storefront themes are conventionally located under app design front end vendor, which is what we did in the last episode there. Um, and each theme must be stored in a separate directory, basically. Um, but technically they can reside in other directories. For example, Magento built-in themes can be located under Vendo Magento theme front-end theme code when a Magento instance is deployed from a Composer repository. Okay, so we didn't do this bit, um, but basically you can um, kind of override templates for uh, different modules in your theme or, or, or apply new styling to them. Um, and then we have these other options here and we have the, these, this table that describes all of that um, so vendor module is basically for module specific styles layouts and templates and then you have the kind of same accepted stru structure as you do down here really um, so uh, apart from these override things I think so layout files which extend the default module or parent theme layouts layouts that override the default module layout so that's so things take precedent uh, and again um, so override base and then override parent theme and then templates for your module okay and theme templates um, are what they are PHP files um, etc view is required um, but if it's already in the parent theme up above then uh, it's fine and this file contains image configurations for all storefront product images and thumbnails and we remember from the last one um, this was the really big one that we copied and pasted and we've not really properly looked at yet um, but it might be good to have a little read through that see what there is I'm interested to know what lib dot dot means and magento ui dot dot js so I think I think that's um, all going to come up uh, become clear soon to me um, and then something else we've not touched on is is this is the internationalization of and these are just like the translation files um just like in Magento one the c s v files and um they um translate various phrases sorry it's a very <laughs> late day um media and this contains the theme preview a screenshot of the theme, not so much like media that you get in Magento 1 uh, my initial reaction to that was that it was going to be like that but it's not um, web these are all the static files so CSS and fonts and images and JS um, view files that override the UI library files stored in lib web CSS source lib okay don't know about that too much uh, and theme XML and registration PHP are both required required to register your theme in the system the file is mandatory as it declares a theme as a system compo component and we looked at that last time as well uh, we built that here and remember I had a problem because I declared a preview image and um, and it didn't um, it didn't work because I hadn't made the image so theme files apart from the configuration file a theme meta and theme metadata file all theme files fall into the following two categories static files and dynamic static ones like I just explained like CSS apart from if you're using less uh, and in the source directory dynamic files are things that are basically 
generating um uh, code that generates a static file that you know that's not if you if you like so it might generate css and it and it might be php that's generating um html and sometimes some js as well if you were uh, if you're into doing that okay i want to make sure that i'm on the right version yep okay and that's basically it that's uh, the magento theme structure um so read through that a few times i'm going to get it kind of nailed down into your head maybe build a, a theme up a, a few times and then I'll, I'll kind of get into the practice of making it um and we've already done this one um but there is um, a little bit down here about adding a design exception that we didn't do so I will um, revisit this apply and configure a theme admin in the next video thanks cheers bye bye